King Edgy here, bringing you another Gen 1 video. And actually, Father Flame reached out to me not too long ago and just said, Hey, see you wrapping up Gen 4. Any interest in getting back into the Gen 1 scene with a little analysis? And I said, Sure, that's a great way to ease back in, watch some others play, commentate a little bit, and uh, get my feel for it again before I return to try to get that number one spot. So let's take a look at this battle. I don't know either player's team, so it's really just kind of a reaction and commentary. And then we'll, at the end, go back and say, now knowing all of the information, what could we have done to optimize? So here we go. We've got Nidoran versus Anish. I'm going to be Father Flame. I'm just going to go for Blizzard. He doesn't. I'm surprised. And I'll say why I'm surprised. Um, you got a lot of options going for Blizzard there. You could get the Freeze, you could get the Crit, he could miss Sleep Powder, and you could get the two-hit knockout. Groundleth is surprisingly fast now, at level 94, and it's pretty good. So I'm, I'm thinking Father Flame might have another Fire type in the back, or just be worried about his ability to handle Rock Ground types, or maybe Water types, or something like that. Um, but we'll see what happens as we play on here. We stay asleep just to block the double powder, which is a common move. Nice play. I would stick with Stun Spore if I were Snape. Sanke Carp. Um, going out to Rattata, that blocks the Paralysis from a Body Slam. You could go Super Fang here, but you could also switch out on the Hyper Beam Prediction. Oh, get a little lucky miss there. I like it, I like it. And we'll just go body slam and, and get the knockout here on the hyper beam. That's just how it has to be sometimes. That's all right. Venomoth is faster than Kangaskhan. Yes, yes. So it can psychic away. Sanke might be trying the double switch here to get Kangaskhan put to sleep while it's at such low health. So we go for psychic again, which I think is the right move. And we go now we just keep going psychic at this point. Oh, I'm surprised there. He was at such low health, I thought Psychic was the right play. Switches out. We go Psychic again. Seems good. We can go Stun Spore here, I think would be pretty good on the Doug Trio. Ah, but we miss it. Unfortunate. And we'll let him knock us out on the Slash. No. Oh, he sticks with the Earthquake. That was very fortunate for us because um, we had 30% left. Slash would have knocked us out. Sorry, he just goes rock slide, but I think our double edge, definitely our hyper beam, but at least our double edge would knock him out here, I think. Or critical hit drill pack also gets the job done. Again, it's a little scary to want to go hyper beam, but at this point in the battle, Sanke hasn't really been making predictions. We saw that he, you know, switched out immediately, not thinking we'd go stun spore into the Doug trio. We saw that he just stayed in with the Golduck, didn't try to double out into the Kangaskhan. So the straightforward plays seem to be working here. I think I would have clicked. I would have checked the Calc on Double Edge and then clicked the Hyper Beam if not. Charmeleon comes out. Okay, so we did have a second Fire type, which is why we let our first Fire type get put to sleep. Question here is does Charizard no like Swords Dance Earthquake. Charizard's in a great spot here, actually. Kangaskhan has such little health that we knock it out, no problem. Charmeleon, we two-shot with Earthquake if we know it. Oddish, obviously we do a ton of damage. Golduck's asleep, so I'm feeling good at this moment. Let's see what happens. Hitmonlee comes out. We get a big Earthquake off. Now Hitmonlee's slightly faster than us, right? Fire Blast will knock it out from this range, so if he doesn't paralyze us, it's basically GG. But he does switch out. Paralyzes the Nidoran. Okay, and I totally get not wanting to risk the Charizard there. Because we've got backup strategies here. This is the Mega Kick, that's nice. Go for Double Kick, that's a little strange to me. I guess he figured it didn't matter because he was getting knocked out that turn. I don't know why you used double kick there. But alright, that's fine. Venomoth can come out now and clean it up. Oh, interesting. 
I don't know how I feel about this. Hitmonlee does a lot of damage to Firo. Oh, but I guess Venomoth didn't, didn't have enough health, right? So we kind of got to go Firo. Yeah, straight into the drill peck. Okay. Hmm. All right, this is an interesting spot for us. We could just knock it out. Yeah, I guess I we just knock it out, right? Because what can he do? Not much, right? Like Charmeleon, I think, would then have to come out. And we can put it in range for Charizard. So, yeah, I think we just go ahead and knock this out. Nope, Charizard comes out with a bold play. Is it going to Swords Dance into the Earthquakes? It is. And now it comes down to whether or not Hitmonlee can paralyze us, pretty much. Ooh, I don't think I would have gone for that second dance there. I think I would have just gone for one. I might have had to check the calculator to see if he one-shots Charmeleon with one Swords Dance, but... <clears throat> it's all right. He wakes up. We get the knockout here for sure. Now if Hitmonlee comes out to try to body slam par paralyze us. Oddish. Oddish can take one fire blast, but not a hyper beam. At plus four. He switches again. I'm surprised he didn't switch to Growlithe there. Gotta be honest. Um, or Venomoth, maybe. Oh, Firo is faster than Hitmonlee, though, so I guess I guess that's okay. I was not realizing that. I was still thinking Firo was 221 for some reason. Um, but at this point, we should have it. It's just about switching effectively. You can switch to Growlithe here. Oh. Okay, I'm surprised that no Growlithe switch came there. Right, because at that point, the only, like, Charizard's Earthquake plus Fero's Double Edge or Hyper Beam would knock out the Charmeleon. So you don't want to let um, Charizard get paralyzed. Now Charmeleon can knock it out. I think um, the better play there was to go Growlithe. See what happened. Uh, if you just knocked out the Growlithe, you get to come in with the Fero for free and just drill Peck away. Um, so I don't know. I don't know about that play. Now the Growlithe comes out. And Charmeleon is faster than Venomoth, though, so I don't like that play either. I think I would have gone out to the Venomoth there to give Growlithe another turn to possibly wake up. I guess in this case it wouldn't have mattered. But now we're in a really bad spot, actually. Yeah, really bad spot. Need a crit hyper beam from Firo to end it, I think. And that's what we're hoping for here. We don't get it. Uh, and we lose. Ooh. All right, so there's, as you can see here on the edge of the screen, a little bit of chat happening afterwards for them to analyze what was going on. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think... I think Father Flame had this one and just botched the end game a little bit, which you'll see. I think he noted here, yeah, totally botched it on turn 34. But that's what we were talking about earlier here. Um, we felt like he had it and just let it go. Uh, I think the play when it was Charizard versus Hitmonlee. So let's go back a few turns. All right, so right now, this is a good matchup. So we have a few options, right? You just play it safe, though. I know that we've been talking about how 
Sanke Karp has been playing the straightforward game, so we expected the switch to hit Monley here. So we could have been aggressive, but there was no need. Really what had to happen on this turn is exactly what happened. We just go for the Earthquake. And we get it. Great. Hitmonlee is in control here. And the only way we lose at this point is if Charizard gets paralyzed. We actually are in such a good spot here because Charizard, um, it has enough health to survive a hit from Charmeleon, so probably gets off two Earthquakes. So here on this turn, we switch out. And we probably switch out into Growlithe or Venomoth. I think I originally said Growlithe. Now I'm thinking Venomoth. Just because Growlithe uh, gets a few turns to try to wake up. But if we go Venomoth here, it goes down. We go out to Firo. Firo either threatens Giant. I mean, it either knocks out the Hitmonlee. Or it does, let's say, 35% to the Charmeleon. And then we can switch back into Growlithe. And then he's sunk, you know, like there's nothing that can happen. The only chance Sanke had here was to paralyze the Charizard, to hope Flame kept the Charizard in to paralyze it. And that's exactly what happened here. So an unfortunate misplay there on turn 30. Um, and that cost him the game. But looking back on the game as a whole, I thought it was decently well played. Again, letting Growlithe get put to sleep, I think, was decent, knowing that he had a better fire type in the back. Um, getting the Charizard to dance up was pretty good. I was surprised that Charizard switched out at plus three. So if you go back even a few more turns here, Charizard is at plus three right here, right? And so you knock out this Hitmonlee with an Earthquake. So to me, this gamble is the same gamble as uh, what we have four turns later on turn 30, right? And so if you weren't willing to take it this turn, then you're not willing to take it. And that's totally fine, right? Because if you get paralyzed with Charizard here, it's the same situation. We don't have enough. Well, we might still be able to win would be close but yeah this is a slightly better scenario to do the same thing just earthquake wins the game here you just spam earthquake and you don't get paralyzed so i don't know a tough a tough situation um but i think it was within flames grasp and uh i'll be back with another analysis video or two shortly uh, thinking about a tournament that's going on in the Gen 1 Discord at the moment. Um, hopefully that's interesting and insightful for you all. You get to see some good battles, uh, but then maybe we'll storm back on the ladder. Who knows? I'll look forward to it, and I will see you in the next video.